As a fighter, I, I, I was the type that was never too focused on watching videos of my opponents. I, I, I leave that up to the trainer. You know, I'll do all the training and I'll do all the work and um, just tell me what I have to do. No, Hopkins is, is, is the opposite. He'll sit down and watch videos for hours. He'll study every single move you make. He'll watch you during the press conference. He'll, he'll do research on you, you know? And, 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 and that all comes into play. Once you step inside the ring with him, um, he, he knows you inside out. He knows what step you're going to make. He knows what he has to do to, to offset whatever you're going to bring to the table. Oscar, how unreal is it that he's able to fight this level of the It's, it's, uh, it's uh, we'll never ever see it again. Let's put it that way. We'll never ever see any athlete in any sport at 49 years old compete at the highest level. Um, it's, it's, it's unheard of. It's unheard of. And, 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 and you talk about any era. I mean, you talk about Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, you talk about any great fighter uh, in any era. At 49 years old, you know, ha hasn't been able to compete at this highest level. I mean, he's fighting Kovalev, who is, 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 is a very dangerous, dangerous opponent. You know, and... Uh, it's, it's, it's one of those opponents where he can, I mean, he, yes, he catches Hopkins, he can, he can knock him out. Uh, he's, he's got that much power. But, uh, but Hopkins, Hopkins finds a way. He finds a way. You know, I don't think I've ever seen Hopkins get hit flush. You know, um, because he knows how to move. He knows how to, he knows how to, he has those reactions that, uh, you know, he doesn't waste energy. He doesn't, yeah, it's all instinct. That might be one of his biggest assets right now, you know, the way he moves in the ring, in terms of staying away from his opponents and then moving in and that kind of thing. What are your thoughts on that? You know, I, what I love about Hopkins now is that, and then watching the last 24-7 with him, A, he's, he's more exciting, mm -hmm. he's taking more chances, mm -hmm. by the way, he's taking calculated chances, which makes it more exciting. He's, 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 He's putting the pressure on, on, on his opponents. He's, 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 he's not running. He's not running. He's not. No, he's, he makes calculated moves left and right, and he offsets you, and he's throwing combinations, and he's hanging in there with you. Um, you know, Hopkins, Hopkins has become like a George Foreman. Mm -hmm. You remember George Foreman when he, you remember George Foreman when he had hair? Oh yeah, yeah. And he, and he walked out of the uh, the airplane yeah. with his uh, with his you know with his police dog you know uh, in, in Africa you know and, 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 and everybody was afraid of him and he was mean. Once he lost his hair, you know, he became this big teddy bear, this likable guy. Hopkins at this age, at 49 years old, I mean, hey, wearing the alien mask, you know, and like I, I was laughing. All night, watching that 24/7, he's, he's become so likable. Like every, everybody in America should cheer him on, you know, because what he's doing, what he's doing is unheard of in, in any sport. How things for you? Great! It's 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 it's, it's, it's awesome. I love it. I love it. It's, uh, this is what I do. This is uh, this is just the, the this is what I love doing. It's, it's great. It's fun. Mending relationships, big part of it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, just look, just doing it all for the sport. You know, I mean, it's it's not going to be overnight, but but you know, it's uh, we're, we're, we're you know, we're not about we're not about building walls. We're, we're about building bridges. You know, those those walls with um, under under. Um, under uh, under the last management that I had, you know, they were building walls, you know, and, and it wasn't good for boxing, you know. So now, 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 you know, we're working with HBO, we're working with Showtime, we're working with Top Rank, with Gary Shaw, we're working with all these promoters, and so at the end of the day, um, you know, we're we're gonna see some good fights, and uh, and it, it takes some time.
it takes some time, but uh, we're making the efforts. We're we're going back to to the old school of, 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 of you know, just the way boxing was before. You know, it's like put all the egos aside and just make some good fights. Are there some specific things you'd like to accomplish? Here? Realistic enough. Um, yeah, continue, continue. Uh, well, just continue making fights. Continue making the fights that the fans want to see. You know, um, I think uh, I think it's going to be up to the fighter to stand up and say, "Hey, I want to fight. I want to fight the toughest challenges out there." Just like Hopkins is doing. You know, just like I did when I was fighting. You know, at the end of the day, it's not about the business. It's about it's about the fight. You know, if, if you put if you put the fight first, yeah, the business will come. You know, the the mentality of the fighter has to change. You know, and uh, that's why I love Hawkins so much is because his, his mentality has never changed. Uh, it's always been about the fight. The business is gonna come. It's, it's, it's going to fall into place. It's always been about the fight. Oscar, you were retired for about 10 seconds after you fought on the court. Did you, at the time, did you ever think he was making a mistake? Or did you think he was making the right move by stepping away? Or did you think there was more left in him? I, um, I, I, I didn't think he was making a mistake. I, I, I just, I felt that it was all part of his plan. I really did. I, I do think that now that it was all part of his plan. Uh, Hopkins hasn't shown me any sign of him slowing down whatsoever. Even even after Tarver, or uh, I mean, after any fight, there, 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 he hasn't. There's no sign of him slowing down. Lately, I've seen signs of him even uh, of, 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 of increasing his stamina, his, his punching power, his speed. Uh, he's, he's a freak of nature. Uh, Dan, after his last fight, Danny Garcia said he would fight again this year. Is that out of the picture right now? It's kind of late in the calendar year. Well, we uh, we're, we're discussing that with, um, with his management group and uh, discussing that with Danny and um, you know. Uh, we have uh, we have several events to close out the year, um, like Amir Khan and uh, Bradley's coming up. Mm -hmm. Where we have where we have uh, Herrera who is fighting on, on the uh, the opening bout on HBO. So realistically and most likely, uh, he'll be uh, fighting uh, the first quarter of next year. Okay. How did you know it was time? Well, I mean, after I got my butt kicked from Pacquiao, <laughs> I just knew. I even knew beforehand. I even knew beforehand. I had, you know, when you start, when you start, when you start getting beat up by your sparring partners, then <laughs> that's a sign. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you think of betting favorite? Is he favorite? Yeah. Um, not by much, not by much, uh, which is surprising because uh, Kovalov is what, maybe half his age? You know, Hopkins, yeah, Hopkins being 49, hitting 50. Uh, it actually surprises me. Well, nothing surprises me anymore with Hopkins. But uh, I really did think that people will have Kovalov you know, as a long shot. So. To see, to see, uh, to see uh, the fight almost being an even fight. I mean, it's, it just goes to show you, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people are, are are believing in Hopkins. Do you think that suits him because he was also the underdog against Tarver and you know how that turned out? Well, it does. It does suit. I mean, it, yes, it's, it, you can say it's a motivation, but Hopkins always has. The, uh, the motivation, no matter who he's facing, he's just he's just so disciplined. Hopkins is uh, it's a machine. Well, if, if you're Hopkins, it doesn't matter. 
if you're Hopkins, it doesn't matter because whether he's a favorite or whether he's an underdog, he's always going to be motivated. That's just who he is. It's 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 pretty uh, it's impressive. Um, I, uh, it's just impressive of, of his his mentality, his uh, his work ethic. He's a freak of nature. Thanks, man. Where do you think of? Oscar, where do you think a win over Kovalev would rate in Hopkins, you know, legacy? He's already one of the all-time greats. Winning, a draw, losing. This is just a win over Kovalev will once again solidify Hopkins as one of the all-time greats. I mean, you have to probably put him top ten all-time greats in any era. You know, I'm not just talking about this era, but you, 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 we're talking about now. You know, comparisons of uh, you know. I mean, if you if you if you put Hopkins. You know, uh, in, in, in Hagler's era, you, you put Hopkins in, 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 in any era. It's like he would, he would he would be up there in any era. You know, you can't say that about a lot of fighters today. You know, Hop, Hopkins is old school. He's uh, he's those fighters like a throwback. Uh, you know, um, always in the gym. You know, taking his craft serious, never getting out of shape. You know, I, I think a lot of Fighters should uh, should learn by how you know from what Hopkins is doing, and um, you know because uh, a we're never going to see it again, not in our lifetime. We're never going to see that again. So um, I think I think all these young kids, all these young fighters, should take a look at Hopkins and, and do what he's doing.